Hello, space fans. <coughs> Let's see if I can talk without waking my buddy up over there. He's snoring. To say the least. Everybody crashed here early. Had a great weekend. Last night by myself. Tonight with Scott and his kids, the twins. Had a spectacular supper. Then um, Trevin did some bracelets with Paracord, or at least started them. He crashed early, probably about nine. Then we did some s'mores and uh, hot chocolate and tea. And uh, Nikki, she went to sleep probably about 9.30. And then Scott, not too far after that. Me, I'm just getting started. I don't know if me talking is going to wake him up or not. I wonder if y'all saw me do that. I hate it when I do that. I haven't done that in a long time. But you know when you do it immediately. Anyway. I'm about to go to bed, Matt, really. Might as well. Can't play with the owls or the coyotes. He's scaring them away. I mean, he's he's in solid through all the timber around here. He must have heard me. Maybe he woke up. Land of Lakes. This is some of the best hot chocolate, instant ch hot chocolate I've had in ages. I mean, it is really, really good. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if I'm going to be posting this video or not. I may post it privately just for us because I'm sure they want to see parts of it. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of excitement going on, but it is what it was like for us this weekend. And they were kind of nervous and shy about being on camera when they were. I tried to sneak it in on them a few times, but. It's 45 degrees right now. And that big old pine knot stump it's still going. I hadn't even phased it. I wish I could find some more of those. I mean, they're handy. Just once it catches on fire, it's like a Roman candle. It'll burn all night long. Most everything's been quiet around here. Coyote started up right after dark. I guess you heard me talking to them. I couldn't get them too close in. They stay out. About the closest I can get the coyotes in is about 300 yards. They're really shy. I called up a few owls, a couple of them, but then we had lights going and talking and racket, so the owls didn't really want to cooperate tonight. I don't want to do it right now and wake them up. Though that I am tempted. And of course, the skunk ape might have to visit them sometime during the night. This is for the kids. This is their, really their first camp out, first wild camp out. You know, they've camped out in the backyard and stuff like that, but this is their first wild camp. I think they did very well. Trevin started his first fire. They took a bow for that. That was great. Nikki. 
coyote started up. She just looked, didn't phase her a bit. Last night when they got close, I was really worried about them coming tonight because I thought that the coyotes might spook them. Like good kids, excellent kids. Yeah, I think they thoroughly enjoyed yourself tonight. I mean, they crashed early, man. I just can't. When I'm out here, I want to enjoy every minute of it. I stay awake as long as I can, just so I can listen to the night. As soon as I get in the tent and lay down, I'm out. The uh, only way I can stay awake is to sit out here. It's 45 degrees right now. Got some good clothes on, so I'm not cold. I don't know what it's gonna be like when I get my sleeping bag, cause I just I got my cowboy bedroll tonight, which is really just a couple blankets and canvas wrap. First chap lips of the season. And I've got everything but chapstick with me. And I'm sure I got some. I just don't feel like digging for it. I think I've ever done one of these videos where I just sit there and stare at myself. So, man, it's a beautiful night. Last night was just beautiful, too. I mean, there's some clouds, but. I had to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Orion was directly overhead. It's 23.30 right now. Pleiades is about 9 o'clock. Cassiopeia is right there. Quarter moon, well, it's a gibbous moon. It's over a quarter, right there. Don't even need a light. Last night I didn't hardly even use a light at all because the moon was so bright. Just you know, when I had to do certain tasks. Seven minute video. I'm gonna keep it under ten minutes. It's been um. Really great couple weeks on YouTube. A lot of stuff going on. Going on. Campfire chat. Really enjoyed those. I guess my biggest regret is not being able to watch everybody's videos. Not being able to keep up with everybody's channels. New subscribers. I haven't watched any of their channels yet. I mean any of their videos. It's just it's impossible right now to do that and work and be able to come out here and do this. But you know, I really appreciate all my subscribers and anybody who's watching this right now. Um, eventually, I'll get to your channels. I get to everybody's. You know, I told my first 100 subs that I'll be watching all their videos. I'm still doing it. Several channels I've watched every single video of theirs. Some I'm still working on. Some I'm just starting. Oh man, this hot chocolate is just excellent. It's not watered down. Oh, that's something I wanted to bring up. That um, mountain house that um, I had last night. It said put 14 ounces of water in it. That's too much. About two ounces too much. Well, soupy, very soupy. Some of the seasoning was in the corner of the package at the bottom and it didn't hydrate very well. But I struggled through it. It wasn't that bad. It was actually it was decent. I'm not going to say it was good because it was. I would have been better off with a can of chili. But in a survival situation, 
and when you just need calories and you're packing light, you know, those really can't be beat. But don't add as much water as they say, at least not for that chicken teriyaki. So, I'm going to finish up my hot chocolate, bank the fire so we'll have it ready to go in the morning. Get in bed. If it's too quiet, I'll turn on coast to coast and wish for the old Art Bell days again. And then fall asleep. And then get up in the morning and fix them. They fix me dinner tonight, so I'm fixing breakfast for them. And I'll have the same thing. They'll have the same thing that I cooked this morning. And then the dread it packing up. That's the only thing I really do not like. Packing up, putting up, cleaning up, trying to get everything back. I just really want to go home and take a shower by the time it's all over. And I've got to fill the deer feeders. So i got a full day tomorrow. I wonder who else is out tonight. Oh, I went over 10 minutes, so I'm at 11.49. So, I'll probably do the first videos, just cuts or something like that. Maybe this, either add it on or do it separately. But, I do like my little chats, my bank fires. It's kind of like a little documentary to myself. Something for me to look back on at my old age, older age, when I can't get out here. I'll be able to go. Hopefully, YouTube will be around and I'll still have my videos. I still save them to a hard drive, so I guess this works as a diary. So, good night, friends. Appreciate you watching. Have a good one. I hope y'all are out there. I hope y'all are doing the same thing I am right now. Enjoying yourself in the great outdoors, wherever you are. Peace be with you. Take care.